determine the market need for the product. It's called a product market fit, and it means that the product at hand fits the needs of the market. It's one of the biggest aspects of marketing because that's what decides whether you will capture the market or go up in flames. And that information comes from market research about the needs of a customer. Without that, there is no way to gauge the success of your product, and sometimes that decides what the scope of your business is. There are a few ways to determine whether you can successfully sell your product at a given point in time in the market. In 2018, Forbes magazine called this a hair-on-fire problem. A market product fit indicator tells you that your product meets the needs of a customer like no other competitor does. Consider this number. If 40% of customers don't want your product to leave the market, you most likely have a hit in the bag. If the product is getting a lot of media coverage, or if you need to hire a lot more people to keep going, you have achieved product market fit. But the biggest physical indicator is probably where the products are disappearing from the store sooner than your ability to make them. You are doing well in terms of product market fit. The first step is to pick a category that is proven to be successful. When you enter a highly competitive market, you have more to lose because the established brands have already captured most of it. Your product won't work unless you plan on revolutionizing the business. Be sure to enter into a general space if you want low risk. In those general spaces, it will be easy to locate existing services and see what the customers are complaining about. That helps you find a pain point relatively easy, and you don't have to find or manufacture customers for your product. The second smart move is to make sure you listen to your customers. Before you start selling a product, make sure you create an outline of the experience you have. You need to understand the revenues in terms of the local and global markets for that product space. You must understand your competition, the life cycle of that market, and outline the target audience. These four things help you make more informed decisions. If you have existing customers, that's your third step. This happens when you have brand awareness and loyalty. There is no factor bigger than this one when it comes to selling a product. Your present customers are constantly being lured by a variety of options in the market. While you focus on getting new paid customers, don't forget to keep listening to the existing ones and how their needs are changing. Keep their needs and financial capabilities in mind before changing strategies for new customers. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.